Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a full step-by-step -step guide today showing you how to carry out a basic engine service on this 2012 Ford Focus and it's a 1.6 diesel. Um, just show you we're fitting the um, just show you the new filters we're fitting quick. New air filter, new fuel filter and a new oil filter. Uh, if you check out the links in the description below I'll put links to all the parts where you can get them from, all the torque settings and all the coordinators as well. So. Uh, just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on the future content. Uh, we're using two poster ramp today, it does make the job a little bit easier. Um, it's not too bad to do without. All I'd do if I want using the ramp is just jack it up on the front end, just under the sills here. Um, put it on a couple of axle stands fairly high up just to give us a decent bit of access to underneath to drop the oil down so uh, But I'll just pop it up in there a bit get this cover off here Just simply pops on on the top And start with we'll get the air filter changed move on to changing the oil and then we'll change the fuel filter after that But I'll just run through each step a bit at a time first thing we'll do is get the air filter changed just located under this housing here we've just got some seven mil headed screws all around the outside of that there so we'll just get that off quick and get that filter swapped over So now that we've got that off, you can see the air filter here and the back edge of it just sits in the recess there so all you need to do is just lift that up and just pop that out. Well you have got it out, one thing you always ought to do is just have a quick look in the housing just make sure there's not too much stuff in there. If you need to, you might just need to give it a little clean out with a vacuum cleaner or just give it a little brush out. Uh, one thing I'm gonna, just going to do at this stage, I'm just going to take this bellow off here you just want two, a flat bladed screwdriver or a hose clip tool, 7mm I think they are, Put that one off and that one off. And the reason being, the oil filter cap is just under there, so just take this off, it just gives a bit of better access to it. This stage there, and just simply fit the new air filter in. You just need to make sure as you fit it in that it just sits within that groove there so it runs in the middle of it you just see it sat in the middle of the channel nice and tight and secure that and put the housing on the top it just traps it in and just run that back put the cover back on nip that down now and the next thing i'll do i'll just run you through it but we'll take this uh, i think it's 27 mil on there we'll take this oil filter yeah that's just the cover for the oil filter in there we'll take that off and get the filter out just undo the uh, filler cap and just pull the dipstick back slightly as well. It's just that way when we're dropping the oil, we'll just allow it to run through a bit better. Yeah, the oil filter cap is 27 mil. I use, I use some of these low, low profile uh, filter sockets, quite an handy tool to have, you get them in a kit. So I'll put a uh, link in the description below to them. We've just got that and a little swivel uh, socket, swivel extension on there, just to make it a bit easier access. A bit tight access in there, but you can just pull it out, unscrew it, just tilt it upside, tilt it upside down, then you can pull it up. There's the oil filter in that inside there. So we'll just take that over, get it swapped over now, put a new seal on it ready. And then we'll put that in once we've got the oil drained out. Yeah, first thing you want to do just to get your filter out, it can be quite tight, but just grab the back of the housing and the filter itself and then just prime apart. Just give that a quick clean out with some brake cleaner. Next one do is just uh, get the seal off. And if you just get a flat bladed screwdriver, you can just uh, just take note of which ridge the oil, the, the seal was sat into. So if you just get a little flat bladed screwdriver, and just simply flick it underneath and ride it up and over the top. 
Now with your new filter, it comes with a choice of seals. One's a rounded seal and one's a flat edged seal, which you can see this one's got a flat edge to it. So we'll just pop the new seal on. Just set the seal on there and just gently work it round. Just work it round and into the groove there and just make sure that it's not uh, not sort of crossed over at any point or like that. I always like to just run a bit of oil around it, just that way when you're running it in, it's not going to grab and rip the seal. So. And we get the new filter and just simply pop it in until you hear it just clip home. And all we'll do now is just sit that aside and we'll refit that once we've got all the oil drained. Right, so now that we've got it up in the air, we've just got to take the under tray down so we can access the sun plug. Um, to get the under tray down, we've just got some torque screws, uh, one at the back there, well, sorry, three at the back there, across the back. Uh, I think there's another one with a couple at the front there as well. So just get all them torques out and we can drop the under tray down and we can get the, uh, get the oil out. I'm just going to want a Torx 30 socket to get them down. So now I've got the under tray down, there's actually eight bolts in total. You've got the sump pan here, and the sump plug there, and you're going to want a 21 mil socket. So just going to crack that off now and let the oil drain down. We'll give it about five minutes draining, and we'll put the sump plug back in. And the torque setting for the sump plug is 30 newton meters. I'm going to swap in the seal as well, but I'll show you that in a minute. Well, the, while the oil's draining, I've got the old sun plug seal there and just see a copper washer. So I'm hoping should I have one of these in stock, I'll just have a look see if we have and get that swapped over. Uh, so the oil's been draining for about five minutes now. I couldn't actually find a sun plug, I thought I'd add one, so it's always nice to swap that over. Uh, but it's not too bad a one if you do have to reuse these, so I'm just going to be reusing that tonight. Uh, but the proper torque setting is 35 newton meters, using digital torque wrench tonight. Don't have to use a digital one, just normal one will do. If you're not using a torque wrench at all, uh, 35 newton meters, it's just a, just a reasonable nip really, you don't want to be too tight. Right, I've nipped that up, just going to give it a wash, wash down with some brake cleaner, that way it just makes it really easy to see when you're done, you're running, running it up at the end, just make sure you ain't got any leaks. Now that we've got that washed down, you can see it's nice and dry around there. I'm just going to drop the ramp down now. I'm going to leave the under tray off just until we've, um, just until we've filled the oil up and run it up at the end. Then we can lift it up and just have a good check to make sure uh, nothing's leaking. So I'll just drop it back down now, get the filter in and pop some oil in it. Now, so we're ready to refit the filter into the uh, back in its location now. And there is a little locator there, and that just needs to go and locate into that little hole on the bottom there. If you're a little bit unsure, you can just pop your filter in first and pop it in, but generally, I've done quite a few of these, like as you can just sort of feel it as you're putting it in and it'll drop into the place. So, uh, I'm just going to put that in now and nip that up. The torque setting for this says it on the cap as well, uh, 25 newton meters. So I'll just get that in and nipped up now. Now that we've nipped the filter housing up, same as the sump, I'm just going to give that a wash off with some brake cleaner. And again, when we're running up at the end, it's just nice and easy to check and make sure it's all sealed up. So I'm just going to wash down with some brake cleaner and refit the uh, hose in between the air box and the turbo there. Yeah, so now that we've done that, next thing we're going to do is just uh, fill the engine oil up. And you want 3.85 litres, fully synthetic, 5W30 engine oil. So just do that next. Uh, 
so just put 3.85 in which is the exact quantity required for this engine code i'm just going to strike it up now just leave it running for about five seconds then i'll turn it off give it a chance to settle before we run through checking the level i always like to do this first just have it running before i've done the fuel filler and um, there is the service light on the dash uh, again at the end of the video i'll just run you through resetting that as well I'm just going to check this now but for an accurate check it does need to be, be have been turned off and let set off for about five minutes but basically on the gauge you've got your minimum and your max there just see at that we're just shy of the max there obviously it hasn't had enough hasn't had the proper time to settle so as that settles it might just come up a little bit to a bit closer nearer the max so about bang on really but we'll check that at the end just to make sure we're dead happy with it. Obviously on a service at a garage, there's a lot of other bits checked. They'll check all the suspension, all the brakes, um, but this is just a basic filter change service. So just thought I'd share the video to run you through if anyone wants to have a go at changing the filters. So. And the only other things I'll do under here so is just check like the levels, the brake fluid, check the coolant level. So I've got, it's got a min and a max on the bottle there got a screen washer cap there to top the screen washer fluid up as well so and uh, the brake fluid is at the back there and that's got a min and a max on it as well so uh, but the next thing I'm going to do now is just change the fuel filter so this fuel filter is located at the back here and it actually fits inside this housing here and um, to get the filter off we're going to un need to undo these three eight three eight mils two there and one there to get this metal bracket off the top once we've done that we've got a couple of pipes on it um, we've got a two pin connector as well we just need to push up and off uh, we'll just start getting that off now It's got that little two pin connector off there you just simply push that tab up push it back this first pipe you just need to push that in there and you can pop it off but this next pipe here you need to flick the back section of it up and just see that bit rises up on both sides and then you can push this front piece in there and then slide that back and once we've got all that off we need to undo the uh, eight mils just to get this uh, just these eight mils on it there so we can lift the housing out Right, that back pipe can be a little bit tight. Sometimes you might need to push it in, just work it a little bit to get it off. Right, so now that we've got the fuel filter housing off, we need to undo these three Torx screws and uh, you've got a Torx 15 screwdriver or socket. Once you've done that, you can just slowly work your filter out. It can be quite tight, just sort of work it side to side slowly. And put that down. And obviously there is the seal that stayed stuck on the top there. And we're just simply going to pick the seal off. And we'll take the new filter and just line it up with your fitting holes, with your holes on the top there. And you can do the same again, just work it through. And the little seal on the bottom goes through and that's your drain bung on the bottom. Once you've located that in, you can just put your torque screws back in, just wind them all in evenly, and then they want to nip, but it is quite a light nip, they don't want to be too tight.
and a little rubber on the bottom of the old one you can just simply pop it over there on the new one I'm just give that a quick wash off same as everything else so again when we're running it up just nice and easy to check that nothing's leaking so we'll just simply get that refitted quickly Now that we're at this stage, we just need to um, prime the diesel filter as well. Now there's a couple of um, ways you can do it. Basically this is the in and this is the return there. Now I'm going to take the return off and I'm going to use a, we've got a, a sucker pump. I'm going to put that on the return and I'm going to drag the diesel through it until, that's, until it's nicely filled the housing up and got all the air out of there. Now another way you can do it, uh, if you haven't got a, like a suction pump, is take the filler off leave the return off there and you can just keep feeding diesel into the supply you could use like a little primer squeezy pump into a diesel supply and keep pumping it and just fill your housing up that way um, but uh, so i've got the suction pump i'm going to drag it through this way and then once it's coming through i'll just pull that pull that return back there and just pop it on quick um, it's just these fords are a bit of a nightmare for getting started if you don't get them primed and don't get that uh, housing filled up so i'll just do that now That's the fuel filter fitted. Just going to recheck the engine oil now. You just see, just with it settling for a good 10 minutes there, it's gone up one bar, so still below, just below the max there, which is absolutely bang on. So, I'm happy with that. Now that we've done that, next thing we're going to do, just going to strike it up now. It might just take a little while to fire up with having the fuel filter off. And then we'll get it up in the air, just have a good look around it, check all around the fuel filter, make sure none of the pipes are leaking there. Check around the uh, the sump plug, the oil filter housing, and I'll just run you through the service light reset as well. Let's just try that next. Yeah, it's a pretty standard uh, procedure on a Ford, this service light reset. But if you put the ignition on, you can just see we've got the oil engine oil change due there. Now, straightforward reset, all you do is just start with the key off, just put your feet on the accelerator and the brake. Keep them both depressed. Turn the ignition on to stage two. Keep the pedal depressed. Let's keep it down, it does take a little while. Then you'll get a little message saying oil reset complete. And you can release the pedals, turn the ignition off, back on again. You'll see that's, uh, I'm still saying the reset message there. We'll do it again. And that, uh, that'll all be disappeared now. I'll just try to strike it up. See that struck up, not too bad there. If you don't prime the filter hours, it'll take ages to strike up. So all I'm gonna do now is just get out of a good scan round, just um, put it up in the air, make sure the sump plug's sealed up, make sure the filter housing's not leaking, check all around the fuel filter housing and uh, just make sure that's nice and dry and uh, just have a good look round but uh, I thought I'd share the video with you all hope it helped if you liked it give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to check out the description below there'll be links to all the tools used in there all the parts all the torque settings and the capacitors and then any other info as well so uh, there's quite a few other videos on there you might be interested in so 
Uh, yeah, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.